Turning now to the presidential campaign trail, the DPP's Lai Qingde spent the day in northern Taiwan campaigning for himself and legislative candidates. Speaking at a Taoyuan temple, Lai vo warned voters about China's election interference. He also blasted both his rivals as pro-China. Meanwhile, Ke Wenzhe of the Taiwan People's Party accused the DPP of using the China issue to fearmonger. The DPP's Lai Qingde visited a Taoyuan temple on Thursday. He spent the day in northern Taiwan campaigning for the re-election of two DPP lawmakers and one independent lawmaker. He warned voters that this election has faced the highest ever degree of Chinese interference. He urged the public to vote for the right person to protect Taiwan's democracy. Just think about what kind of person China wants. If that person gets elected, Taiwan's democracy will cease to exist. Taiwan would no longer be voting for a president, but for a chief executive. So I hope that everyone can come together to defend Taiwan's democracy and vote for number two on the ballot, Lai Qingde and Xiaobi Kim. Lai warned voters against picking candidates preferred by Beijing. Shortly afterward, a reporter from Radio Free Asia asked him about his views on Hong Kong. Of the three groups of presidential candidates, this issue isn't a problem for me. You should ask the other two groups. TPP Chair Ke Wenzhe has accused the KMT's Hou Youyi of getting funding from China. But something I would like to ask Ke Wenzhe is why China has not voiced any criticism of him. Fundamentally, both of these candidates adhere to China's One China principle. It's a case of the pot calling the kettle black. Lai talks about opposing China and protecting Taiwan while saying Taiwan is doomed. When he says these things, I want to ask him, didn't you yourself say that Taiwan and mainland China are like brothers? I myself would encourage China to simply sit back and watch the election without meddling. From past experience, every time China tries to intervene, it just ends up hurting the KMT. On the campaign trail on Thursday, Ke Wenzhe of the Taiwan People's Party blasted Lai for using China to fearmonger. In turn, Lai accused both his rivals of being pro-China. He also criticized KMT vice presidential candidate Zhao Shaokang, who said that Ke and Honghai founder Terry Goh would be consulted during cabinet selection. Lai said that Zhao was overstepping his role. Zhao Shaokang Shaokang refuses to change his ways. I reminded him before that he's not running for president, but vice president. And in any case, he hasn't been elected yet. He's taking over Ho's role, saying he will form a cabinet together with Terry Go and Ke Wenzhe. Everyone can see through his tricks. He is too calculating, too focused on laying the groundwork for strategic voting. Such comments by Zhao Shaokang are inappropriate. He's running for vice president, but was he picked by Ho Youyi or what? If it really was Ho Youyi who chose him, Ho must really be regretting it now. Meanwhile, KMT presidential candidate Ho Youyi was campaigning in Taipei, joined by Taipei Mayor Jiang Wan'an and legislative candidate Zhong Xiaoping. They canvassed at a vegetable market and toured the facilities. The crowd of supporters included many young faces. A coalition government is imperative. I will appoint people based on talent. So I'd like to ask everyone to vote for the biggest opposition party and cast a vote for number three on the ballot, Ho Youyi and Zhao Shaokang. With election day approaching, the KMT is ramping up campaigning with an eye on returning to power.